Today, Volkswagen Chief Executive Officer Martin Winterkorn admitted to and apologized for the defeat device software that the automaker built into its vehicles to game the system of U.S. air pollution tests. Late last week, we learned that the company had intentionally rigged over a half a million cars to pass smog tests. Joining us to talk about this story is Tim Stevens, editor-at-large at CNET. Welcome, Tim. Thank you. So was this a hack or was it software that was built into the car? It, it, it's software built into the car. So for these sorts of emissions tests that, that the government runs, basically there's a, a very set test protocol. You know, each car has to be tested in the same way to make sure that they're all tested uh, accurately. Uh, and so there's a, a set regimen, which is basically to drive at a given speed, accelerate by a given amount. And it makes it pretty easy for the, the car to detect what's going on. And what Volkswagen did or what Volkswagen's engineers did was program the car to figure out when it's being tested by an EPA official or being run through this test and put the engine into a different drive driving mode when that's happening. And uh, then as soon as you stop doing that, the engine can go back into a different mode. So the idea is to make the car pretend basically that it's more efficient than it actually is. Uh, and then as soon as you're done with the test, the car would go back to its quote unquote normal mode, which would be uh, less efficient. Um, that's definitely not playing by the rules, uh, but it's definitely the sort of thing we've actually seen similar things before. Uh, Ford has actually gamed the EPA's uh, fuel efficiency test to do a similar sort of thing in the past. But since we're talking emissions here, this is a little bit more serious. And uh, given the number of cars on the road that use this, uh, it's definitely a very, very disconcerting thing. So how long has this been going on with Volkswagen? That remains to be seen. Uh, we only know that they have been caught doing it, uh, but we don't know exactly how widespread that is. And in fact, we're just hearing, uh, just as we're going live, actually, the Detroit News has confirmed that the U.S. government is not only looking into this one particular diesel engine that was mentioned earlier, but also into a diesel engine that's used also by Porsche and by Audi. So this could actually extend well beyond Volkswagen itself uh, into larger manufacturers, the, basically the larger Volkswagen group, which includes quite a few other cars. Uh, well, this could be a very, very big story that's only going to get bigger. Uh, and we're only really beginning to, to understand how big that is right now. So how did this scam come to light? Was it a whistleblower? How did we find this out? We don't really know uh, exactly how it came to light just yet. Uh, you know, it, it certainly seems like um, I, th I think there probably was a whistleblower. Obviously, this is the kind of thing where uh, a lot of people would have to know about this sort of thing. And a lot of people had to be complicit in allowing it to uh, to go forward. So it's not the kind of thing that a rogue software engineer would go ahead and put something like this uh, in the car. Uh, but, but again, this is the kind of thing that we've seen in the past in other tests. And ultimately, I think a lot of other manufacturers are probably doing similar hacks and tweaks and things like this to try to get around uh, other regulations, whether they be noise related or fuel economy related. Um, and exactly how many of these are going to come to light, uh, that remains to be seen. But I think there are probably some very stern conversations going on. A lot of other manufacturers right now asking exactly what's going on and how can they very quickly and quietly fix them before uh, they get in trouble like Volkswagen is getting in trouble right now.